Today we are going to be doing a Houston Rockets rebuild while trading for the number one overall pick. There have been rumors that the Houston Rockets are aggressively going after the number one overall pick, which technically means they want Cade Cunningham, which fair enough, who doesn't want Cade Cunningham? As a Rockets fan, we need Cade Cunningham. This is a Rockets rebuild, right? So this is what we have to do. This is what we have to do when we're rebuilding the Rockets. Chuck on the jersey and uh, rebuild the Houston Rockets. Make sure we're repping our team, man. So as you know, Rockets are going after Cade Cunningham, which hopefully it works. Either way, you should be fine. If you haven't though, subscribe right now, please. Thank you, that would mean a lot. <laughs> so for this to work, I think, you know, Detroit would have to give up Cade Cunningham. For their number two overall pick, don't know who it is going to be. It might be Evan Mobley. It could be Jalen Suggs. We don't know who it is going to be, uh, but they're probably going to have to give up that player. Eric Gordon, the Detroit 2022 first round pick. So Detroit gets their first round pick back next season and a future first round pick to even maybe get the Pistons to accept this deal. But for the purposes of today's video, that trade is going through and we're rebuilding this Rockets team. So the third best player on this team is Cade Cunningham. Perfect. Which means we've got a couple of players that we kind of want to move on from, such as John Wall. If we can find a good trade for John Wall to free up some cap, bellissimo. If we could find a way to free up some sort of cap space here from the trade finder, that would be absolutely amazing. You know what? I don't mind Markel Fultz, you know. We also get one year of Gary Harris. We will probably want to free up cap space for next offseason anyway. Try and go after Steph Curry or KD or something like that if something like that could come up. So yeah, Markel Fultz is only going to develop for us at the point guard position. We're trying to get younger. It would work for us. Who else is making a lot of money? Gary Harris is expiring deal. That's fine. DJ Augustine, can we get rid of you for a first and a second? Thank you. And anybody else? Daniel house we could get rid of that contract for a first round pick thank you portland yeah all right we've just freed up a bunch of cap space for next off season uh so yeah this season not really too fussed about what goes down uh just sean tate i would like to bring back though if i can re-sign just sean tate that would be perfect you know what i might try get competitive for one season we could try and bring in Andre Drummond. You know what? I'll bring in Drummond for a season, hey? We don't have our first round pick, so there's no point tanking. So if Drummond wants to come to the Rockets for one season, which I don't think he... I think he's going to the Lakers, isn't he? Fair enough. I would too, mate. I would too. Uh, Montrez Harrell for one season. You want to come to Houston, bro? I'll give you literally like 21 million to come play for Houston for one season. And I'll chuck it... Uh... You know what? Two with a team option on it. If he wants to take that, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we get one of those guys. We do get Montrez Harrell, which is fine by me. He's probably the only major free agent we're going to go after because we're trying to save cap for next season. You know what? I will pay Derek Rose to come play for us for a season as well. I'm quite okay if we get Derek Rose to come play for us for a season. We can make something work there. And then if we're trying to be competitive, we might as well bring... Ennis Cantor in for a season as well and chuck in Kelly Olynyk for a season also. That should be fine. See what happens. We might be competitive. You never know. So we go up two overalls with Christian Wood. Everybody is going up besides Derek Rose, Ennis Cantor. That's fine because they're both only going to be going here for one season anyway. Two training camps. Defense is going to Cade Cunningham and... And I suppose if we go untapped potential to Mark L. Fultz, maybe he could develop into something. I would like him to be our point guard for the future. We then have Fultz, KPJ, J, uh, K Cunningham, Christian Wood, and Montrez Harrell as our starting five this year. We have Derek Rose, Ennis Kanda, Kelly Olenek, and Jashawn Tate, and Kenyon Martin Jr. off of our bench. I'm fine with that. All of our young guys are getting minutes. I am going to make Cade Cunningham our first scoring option, then Christian Wood, and I'm going to go Kevin Porter Jr. We have four-star, seven-second system, and the Rockets are the projected 14th seed. So maybe we could be competitive this year, although I'm not banking on it. All-stars this year. We've got ourselves Cade Cunningham. First year, and Cade Cunningham's already an all-star, so something's going right for Cade, that's for sure. So... With those one-year deals, we managed to go 50 and 32, which is actually really good. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year, which is what we like to see. Um, Cade actually makes All-NBA first team in his first year. Sure. Okay. Uh, we didn't just break the game. I don't know what you're talking about. We finished as a four seed. 
four seed. We went from being the worst team in the league to the fourth seed in the Western Conference. I'm fine with this team how it is. We're even going to have free uh, cap space next offseason, so that's going to be awesome. Cade, 21.9, 7 and 12.3. Christian Wood dropped 18. Kevin Porter Jr. dropped about 15. D Rose dropped 14 off the bench. And yeah, we had ourselves a pretty decent season. Offensively, the Rockets were the eighth best team, and defensively, we held it up. And then differential, we were the sixth best team. So first round here against the Golden State Warriors. They've added Scotty Barnes, which is decent. Let's look to see what goes on. We win in seven games, and now we've got the one-seeded Lakers in the second round of the playoffs, which... We somehow upset and win in seven games and now taking on the Pelicans in the Western Conference Finals. This isn't supposed to go down like this. Yes, we do lose in seven games to the Pelicans in the West Finals. Makes sense. We weren't even supposed to be here, to be honest. The Nets win the championship. James Harden, Finals MVP. Your boy has, has a cap that he wants to use up. We actually have a first-round pick as well via Portland, which is at 13, which stays at 13, sadly. But we do have that first-round pick, which is going to come in kind of handy. So we've got 13th and 15th overall picks. Nothing crazy is getting offered up here. We have no players that we kind of, that we don't want to move on from. Look at how friendly these contracts are, by the way. Very friendly. What if, what if we go like this? Could we get maybe a better starting point guard? No? Okay. I was just looking. I was just looking around. I'm allowed to look. I think we're going to use these picks, boys. So with these first overall picks, we pick up Nazaria, uh, Jabari Smith, uh, Eugene Reed, and Bill Wilcox. Don't know who any of those guys are. So Kevin Porter Jr. coming back. Jay Sean and Kenny Martin all coming back. Montrose Harrell. It is tempting, but I am not going to bring him back. I'm not bringing him back. You know why? Because I'm going to go after one of these big level free agents here. Such as Steph Curry or Jimmy Butler. If we can, if we can bring Stephen Curry to the Houston Rockets. Jesus. Oh, jeez, jeez. Okay, yeah, nah, we've killed it. We have killed it. Just in case, we'll chuck a Jimmy Butler a deal, and same with, I reckon, Kyrie. If, just in case, if those guys don't go through. So we do get Stephen Curry. It's fine by me. We, we, this is the whole point of the rebuild. That's the whole point of the, the rebuild, was to try and get ourselves, like, to get us into a position where we could sign Steph Curry or KD. And KD accepted his player option. So Steph Curry's available. 32 million to get another max level guy. We don't need Markel Fultz anymore because we do have Stephen Curry. Although Markel Fultz off the bench is nasty, bro. However, we do need another starting shooting guard. Oh, we got Kevin Porter. Kevin Porter Jr. can start at the two. What am I talking about? He can start at the two. So we've got Steph Curry, Kevin Porter Jr., Cade Cunningham, Christian Wood. We need a starting center. We need a starting center. I just realized we need a starting center. So, uh, Markel Fultz with... Let's go with this guy. Does this guy... Have, he has got three... Ooh, Vooch. Could be a very nice starting center. I also don't mind that deal either. Isaac and Bamba. Could I somehow... I don't think... I don't think I'm going to make this work. But if I can somehow pull a Carl Anthony Towns out of my butt, that would be absolutely awesome. Jabari Smith, chuck him in there. Uh, Rockets would acquire three mil... I'll chuck in Eugene Reed. That wasn't supposed to work, and it did. We just got ourselves Kyle Anthony Towns. Okay, sure. To Watch this team not even do anything. Watch. Watch this team not even do anything. Anyway, we could re-sign Derek Rose. Okay, yep, that's cool. We'll do that. Uh, we could do the same with Kelly Olynyk. Cool, we'll do that. And we can do the same with Montrez Harrell. Holy shit. Derek Rose, we do not have enough cap, sadly, to bring in Derek Rose. Uh, it's fine. We've got point guard minutes from Stephen Curry. We can even play Kevin Porter Jr. at the point if we really need to. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kelly Olenek, you're getting traded, my guy, for a backup point guard. Olenek with Bill, could you get traded for a backup point guard if one wants to get offered up, that is? That is a no. That is a no. No one wants to give me a backup point guard caliber player. Come on, just... Really? I can take RJ Hampton and Terrence Ross, but like... Peyton Pritchard? Eh. Could I bring in Monte Morris? How about instead of a first, I give you Bob, Bill. You want two seconds? Fine, I'll take Monte Morris. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good. Let's go to player progression. See who's regressing on me. And nobody is. Perfect. That's exactly what we like to see. Let's go. Two training camps. Defense is going to Steph Curry. And then we're also going to go defense to Cade Cunningham because 
They both need it. So our rotation for this second season. Curry, Porter Jr., Cunningham, Wood, and Town starting five. We then have Montrez Harrell, Monte Morris, Ja'Shawn Tate, and Kenyon Martin Jr. We also have Ben McLemore, which is a bit weird. I don't know why we brought Ben McLemore back. I don't know how he came back, to be fair. So, But I'm, I'm just surprised we still managed to hold on to Montrez Harrell. I didn't realize we could do that. So, of course, Steph Curry is going to be the first scoring option. Then Cade and then Kat. Uh, we got a four and a half star, seven second system. So, makes sense that we're running that. And somehow the Rockets are projected at 11. Okay, let's see what goes on. All-star break this season. Steph Curry is an all-star captain. Um, but our boy Cade Cunningham... Had a tremendous rookie season. Doesn't make the all-star team in his second year, which hurts my feelings a little bit. And when Steph comes to the Rockets, he wins MVP, which is amazing. Putting up 34, 5.2, and 10.5 on two steals a game. Okay, I see you, Steph and Curry. I see you. Steph Curry, All-NBA first team, clearly, because he just won freaking... Uh, MVP, didn't he? And then there's no Kate Cunningham anywhere to be seen. We finish as a one seed in the Western Conference. What I like to see. You've seen Steph's numbers. Cat dropped 28 and at 4.6. Then K dropped 16.6, 7.1 and 10.3. We had two players averaging about 20 assists a game. Two players getting 20 assists a game. Jesus Christ, man. Trey's off the bench at 14 and 7, which is actually really, really good. And our whole team has just done amazing. Offensive we were the fourth best team. Our defense was fourth best, and our differential was the best in the league. Jeez, watch us lose in the first round. You ready? Oh my god. I was saying it ironically, too. Ironically, and at home. Oh I think this is the second video in a row where I've done this. But I'm ending this video here because fuck you, 2K. Fuck you, mate.